Welcome to the 11th meeting of the Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to switch their mobile phones silent. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 4 and 5 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Under agenda item number 2, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the following draft instrument. The best to start grants and Scottish child payment miscellaneous amendments regulations 2021. Is the committee content with this instrument? Under agenda item number three, and we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on SSI 2021-397, the ethical standards in public life, etc., Scotland Act 2000, Register of Interests, Amendment Regulations 2021. This instrument amends the ethical standards in public life, etc., Scotland Act 2000, Register of Interests, Regulations 2003, in light of changes made to the Code of Conduct for councillors and the Model Code of Conduct for members of devolved public bodies. Regulation 2.2 of the instrument substitutes a new schedule into the 2003 regulations, in which the registrable interests of councillors and members of devolved public bodies are described by reference to various paragraphs in the Councillors' Code and the Members' Code, respectively. The Committee wrote to the Scottish Government to draw its attention to an error in Table B of the schedule to be inserted by Regulation 2.2 of the instrument. In its response, the Scottish Government confirmed that the omission of <coughs> excuse me, Category 9 concerning close family members was an error and has undertaken to lay an amending instrument in early course. Full details of the error in Regulation 2.2 can be read in the correspondence between the Committee and the Scottish Government. This can be found in the published papers for this meeting on the Committee's website. Does the Committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground I, and that the instrument's drafting appears to be defective due to the error in Table B of the schedule? And does the Committee also wish to welcome that the Scottish Government will lay an amending instrument in early course to rectify this error? Also under this item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2021, 409, 410, 411 and 412. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Yeah. And finally, in relation to SSI 2021, 410, the Environmental Protection Single-Use Plastic Products, Dolphin Regulations 2021, does the committee wish to note uh, the effect on the instrument of the United Kingdom Internal Market Act 2020, highlighted in the policy note, and highlight this to the lead committee, which is the Net Zero Energy and Transport Committee. Mr. Simpson. Thank you very much, convener. Um, as, as you rightly say, the, the policy note uh, attached to this regulation um, points out uh, the effect of the UK Internal Market Act uh, in that the policy intent behind this regulation may not actually be uh, achieved um, because the, 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 the actual re re result of all, all that is that the ban imposed by the instrument will apply, apply to products uh, produced in Scotland, but it won't apply to products which were produced in another part of the UK where they're not banned. Um, so having said that, um, it seems to me that this is actually quite a significant thing to ban any product is significant whatever it is and to stop its supply is significant um, as you've said the negative procedure applies uh, on, on this um, I would normally have been arguing that that was not appropriate it should be an affirm affirmative procedure however that's not legally available so I think um, what what we should be doing here, convener, if it's okay with you, is highlighting this to the lead committee, which I think is the net zero committee. Um, we, should, we should possibly say that while this is subject to the negative procedure, 
they can still take evidence on this if they wish. And, and, and if I was on that committee, I would want to, uh, because I would probably want to hear from Scottish producers uh, who are affected by this, potentially. Um, I should also point out that there is um, a, a consultation going on uh, in England at the moment. I read about that at, at, the, at the weekend. And ideally, you'd probably want the same policy to apply across um, uh, across the UK, uh, so that we don't uh, we don't end up in the position that we uh, we're potentially going to end up in one set of rules in one part and one, one set of rules in another. But the, those are matters that the, the lead committee could address. So I think if we if we're to write to the lead committee and point that out, uh, and maybe suggest uh, to them that they could also, if they so wish, con write write to the Scotland office. Um, uh, and cer certainly, uh, probably the, de the department that's dealing with it in England, which I think is the Environment Department. I think it sits under the Environment Bill uh, down there. So, uh, having said that, uh, content with the, re re the recommendations, but we should be highlighting a number of issues to the Lead Committee. Thanks, Convener. Okay, no problem. Thank you for that, uh, Mr. Simpson. Um, I think the suggestions that you make uh, regarding the lead committee, um, absolutely, I'm content with. And uh, to highlight the, uh, I think the point regarding the negative procedure uh, and the affirmative, uh, obviously, which is the most important thing for our committee. Um, it, you're correct. And also, the, the the affirmative procedure isn't available uh, in this particular instance. Uh, but I think writing to the uh, the net zero committee uh, would be the right uh, thing to do. And I think the the, the, the points you highlighted um, uh, regarding the asking them to uh, potentially consider some of their work, I think would be uh, is the right thing to do. Also, so I'm content to do that if uh, if that's agreeable with uh, other committee members. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. With that, uh, thank you for that. And uh, with that, uh, I will now move the committee into private. Uh, thank you.